Alrighty, welcome to this beta Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at how to build a 3x3 piston door that can be activated on both sides and built on both axes of the, uh, of the world. So before we get started, it's important to know that the rotation of redstone in beta can affect how certain redstone activates. So although this can be built technically on every rotation, um, I will give you the most optimal rotations to build it at. So if you press F3 and you look up here, uh, right here, there's an F followed by a number, so right now it's 0, and that will change with the rotation of the axis that I'm on. So this is 1, 2, 3, and 0. If you want to build this door on the 0 or 2 axis, like this one is here, uh, you'll have to start this tutorial by facing 0. And if you want to build the door on the 1 and 3 axis, you'll have to start by facing the 3. Now there is one very small difference in the redstone based on which direction you're facing, um, and that will be at the very end of the video, so pay attention at the end to make sure you make the right change for your axis. Alright, so this is everything you're going to need. You're going to need some building blocks of your choice. This is going to be mainly for putting the redstone on. Then we've got sticky pistons, redstone repeaters, redstone dust, a button, redstone torches, powered rails, and then I've got some more building blocks here. Um, these can both be of your choice. Um, these are just going to be to distinguish what the redstone is going on and then what the door is made of. Alright, now let's get started. So I'm using a couple of mods. I'm using too many items and single player commands um, to allow me to bring this to you. Um, and I'm also going to be facing the F equals zero axis to start this off. So um, the first thing we want to do is actually make the outline of where we want the door to be. I think it's kind of important to kind of know where you want the door to be. Now obviously I'm making mine a bit high in the air so that um, you can kind of see very easily where all the redstone is going to be. Um, now this is the frame of the door. Now once you have your frame it'll be good to also put in uh, the pistons where they're gonna go. Now you want sort of three on this side and we may add some more pistons as we go um, just based on where we're gonna need them but for now we'll just keep it simple. We'll start with just the pistons that we know are going to be sort of in place of the door, so you should have something like this. Okay, so we're going to start down here. Uh, we don't need that block there like that. If we place blocks here like this, we can place a repeater out the front of those two pistons there like that. With redstone dust here, that repeater is going to be on a three tick delay. Then we're going to place a block there like that with a piston on top. And then another block in front with a, another repeater. And then that's going to go into some redstone dust like that. Off that redstone dust, we're going to place a block there like that. And then diagonally to that uh, block, we're going to have another block here like this. And we're going to run some redstone up there like that. We're going to also place a block on top of this redstone dust here. And another block on top of that. We will come back to that later. And then down on this side now, we're going to place a block here and a few ball blocks here like that running next to those repeat uh, those pistons, sorry. Uh, we're gonna place some redstone here and here with some repeaters and then another block with a redstone dust like that. Okay, now moving over to here, we're gonna place kind of a few blocks and repeaters, so uh, make sure you get these in the right spot. We're gonna first place a block here like this, a block against this piston there, then we're going to place another one down here and another one, one up like that. So you've kind of made a, a cross like that. And then one more here like that. Then we're going to go in and place a repeater facing that way and then a repeater facing the opposite way. So we've got you know, this line of repeaters here and then that line going that way. And then one redstone dust there like that. So that's what that all looks like around the back. Now as we come around this side here, this is probably the most intricate part of the build. Um, we'll start by placing a block here and put it on a four tick delay like that. And now when we look at the front of the build here, um, where this uh, sort of L shape is, we're going to place a block on that redstone dust there. We're going to place a redstone torch here. Now might be a good time to remove a little bit of this, uh, this frame here. We don't really need it, um, you know, too much anymore. In fact, I'm going to remove all of it. Um, but yeah, it's just going to be annoying when all the pistons start moving um, to push that around. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to remove that frame there. Now, if we come back to this uh, this redstone torch, we place a block, oops, a block on top like that, and then another redstone torch there. And as you can see, it sort of pushes the piston. 
Now coming inside now, if we come in and face this way, um, you want to place a sticky piston off the side of this redstone dust here, and it should power like that. And then you want to place a block um, on that piston like that. And then you want to place another sticky piston here on top of that, uh, that face like that. Or you can place it off the back of this redstone torch there, just like that. Now don't forget this is the front, so if we're facing the front we're going to go um, back around to the side and back under here like this. And we're going to place a block under this redstone torch here with some redstone dust on top. And then we're going to place another block under this piston which had the, uh, the block attached to it. And we're going to place a redstone torch under like that. And that will create some, uh, some power there. Uh, now this is what the back is kind of looking like here like this, or the side part I mean. Alright, next we're going to start going up and over this build. So, first you want to place a redstone torch here like this, then a block on top, and then you want to staircase here, and staircase again. And we kind of want to place a block on top of this piston here, and cover this uh, sort of like this, so this is what that's going to look like. Uh, then we're going to place a block uh, against that, uh, that sticky piston there like that. Then we're going to take some redstone dust and we're going to place it up here like this in that configuration and then place down three repeaters one's going to be on a two tick and then these two are going to be on three ticks each then we're going to come over here and we're going to place a few more blocks here and now off the side of these uh this three stack here we're going to place in the middle block there we're going to place one there and then staircase just like that so it kind of creates this arch shape at the front uh then we're going to do the same on this side like that and then we're going to connect them with a, a little a little top piece like that. And now we're just going to place redstone all over these top blocks that we've placed there, just like that. Now the last thing we need to do is create the button activation section. And uh, here we want to place powered rails, sort of on the sides like this. So uh, there needs to be one next to this bottom piston on the left. So if we're facing the contraption, it's on the left. Um, and then we're going to place one on the other side here like that so it look, should look something like this now this is what it looks like on the inside so if we come around to the outside of this part we're going to place a block uh, two blocks off the edge of those powered rails and then three blocks in front of those powered rails like that and then one more block here just like that so that's what that should look like now on this side then we're going to place a repeater with redstone dust running along and then another repeater so all of that is connected then we're going to place one more repeater put it on a one tick delay like that and then we're going to build up here like this and actually build out like this so now there's sort of this uh, this little lip on this side then we're going to place a redstone torch here redstone dust here and another redstone torch like that and now we're almost done this is the home stretch so I'm going to place a couple blocks like this, so now it sort of drops down from the redstone torch. We're going to place redstone dust on top. And this is going to feed into another piston. So if we come across two blocks like that into a piston here, place a block in front of it like that. And then some uh, a redstone torch. And then finally, the last piece of the puzzle is placing a repeater there like that. So that is the whole contraption complete now. Now I know that's a lot, so I'm going to do a bit of a fly around so that if you have made any small mistakes, you can maybe pick them up just by looking at the, uh, the build. Um, and if not, maybe, maybe go back and, and have a look. Um, should be pretty straightforward. It's not too complex or too intricate. intricate. Um, so yeah. Now the last thing you need to do is place in your frame, so I'm going to use the sandstone blocks here like this. Um, this block here is actually a, an essential block um, to the build, but it will be used as part of your frame anyway, so um, it shouldn't be a big deal. Now this block can be replaced, um, it just has a repeater on two ticks, so we're going to get rid of that and then just replace that with uh, the repeater on two ticks like that. And uh, yeah, there we go, now we have our full door frame like that. And now the last thing we need to do is place in where our buttons are going to go and they are going to go just behind these repeaters here like this and we're going to place the buttons there like that. 
Okay, so now the last thing you need to do is actually test out your door by pressing one of the buttons. And there you go. As you can see, it is working perfectly. And if we fly through, it works perfectly on this side as well. So I'm building another one of these on the F3, F1 axis to show you that small little change that I mentioned at the start of the video. However, I did uh, bump into something that I did think was worth noting that I kind of forgot about, which is when you're placing in these rails, um, they're going to face the wrong way. So all you need to do there is um, align them with another rail just like that and uh, your problem should be solved. But that's not the small little change. I'll show you that in one moment. Okay, so as you can see, I've built the same contraption, exactly the same, um, but this time it's on the F3, F1 axis, and I've built it facing F3. Um, now, curiously, uh, this actually works exactly the same as this one, which surprises me uh, because on my redstone testing world, uh, this doesn't work exactly the same as this one on uh, the other axis I found. Um, now, what I found fixed it so maybe if you encounter a problem where it doesn't quite work properly the way I fixed it was to turn this repeater um, to a one tick delay rather than a two tick and that should fix it um, however I'm yeah for some reason on this world I'm not sure why um, it seems to work exactly the same um, in both configurations which is interesting now if you're still having issues and you haven't uh, and everything else is exactly the right and uh, you know this isn't working you can also add a repeater here um, and then if you just have this on a uh, uh, a one uh, tick delay like that and then another tick like this uh, this should work as well um, the problem with this is that it just makes the door doubly slow um, is all but that does still work all right, just to show you I'm not lying, here I am in my redstone testing world. This is the build on the F3 axis. And as you can see, if we put it on uh, the, the two tick delay like that, uh, we press this and it works. But if we come to the other side and we press it again, it doesn't work. This is the issue I was running into. Um, and the way I fixed it was putting it on that one tick delay like this. So um, obviously this side works. It is very slightly slower. Um, but then if we press this side, it does work. But for some reason in the other world, it worked with the correct tick delay. Um, so yeah, it's just a bit of a quirk of beta redstone, I guess. I'm not sure exactly uh, why that's happening. But yeah, with those two solutions in your arsenal, you should hopefully be able to get the redstone, uh, the redstone door working, whatever configuration you have. Okay, but finally, when it comes to the aesthetics of this build, you can pretty much do whatever you like, so long as, you know, the, the redstone is all in the right place. You can replace the iron blocks and the sandstone with whatever you like. Again, just making sure the redstone is all in the same place. And, uh, yeah. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial and found it really useful. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you happen to use this design in your worlds, make sure to let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear how many people uh, actually use this, uh, this tutorial. So yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Laters!